morning, everybody. Not country amateur radio here. This is Eric Ki7 WJP, and uh, I'm headed up to Wolf Creek Pass. I'm not going to do a ton of radio, but I just wanted to show you this. We are driving through one of the smaller established little towns in Utah. It is approaching the Uinta Mountains, and there's only a few houses here. It's a beautiful, quaint little spot. The river runs through it. Out here in the Uintas, there's a couple towns, one called Hannah, one called Tabiona along this highway. And uh, just small little agricultural towns, uh, fairly cut off and perfect candidates for having a ham radio community. So, what I'm doing here is, these are skins. Those of you who backcountry ski know a little bit about that. It allows me to go uphill across the snow and maintain a significant amount of grip. KI7WJP, uh, KI7WJP, is anybody around for a signal report? For reference, this is the uh, UV82 Meerkit sent me, the Belfang UV82. Been super impressed with it. The uh, stock antenna wasn't super uh, phenomenal, so I changed that out to this Nagoya 701. Um, with low power, I was at least able to ping that repeater which is so far from the distance, I actually am not really sure how many miles away it is. It's over 30. Try it again. KI7WJP for a radio check. KI7WJP clear. All right, let's try a different repeater. All right, this is a 70 centimeter repeater and it is that way. Um, this actually is linked to the repeater above town that I'm always using, but this is the 77 centimeter one. Uh, let's see if it works. Low power. KI7 WJP. KI7 WJP for a radio check. All right, now you can see a little bit where I am. Look at those mountains. You see my road below me, it's really only about a half mile. The walk up here was relatively quick, probably about 20 minutes. Back that way is home. All right, so nobody came back from the home repeater. I'm gonna try the uh, Intermountain Intertie. This is bound to work. Again, low power, 701 antenna, um, let's see. KI7 WJP for a radio check. KI7 WJP for a radio check. Okay, I actually have to change the power output there. Let's try uh, the, the medial, medium power, which I think is still five watts, so let's see. KI7 WJP for a radio check. KI7 WJP for a radio check. Nothing. I mean, that's more than enough to get through to that repeater. So let's change out antennas. All right, <laughs> this is one of those a breeze. Uh, if you look closely, you can see it's actual tape measure in there. Uh, this is so funny. Anyway, these, these antennas I found work spectacularly well on Two meters so uh, let's try that again i'm gonna up the power to medium and see what we get ki7 wjp for a radio check well at least i'm getting through this time i wasn't even getting any feedback from the repeater before so i might need to up the power though 
KI7 WJP for a radio check. Yeah, I'm not convinced that uh, my voice is getting through. Let's try a bigger antenna. All right, decided to put down the uh, down coat. <laughs> it's getting a little chilly. Um, and my feet are actually kind of cold here in the ski boots. So I'll probably get moving on to the next location here pretty quick. But those of you who've been on the channel for a long time or followed my social media, you'll recognize this ridiculous and uh, 104 centimeter antenna or something ridiculous. It's, I mean, it's amazing. So uh, we'll leave it on low power and see if we can get to that, that repeater on top of Hidden Peak on the inner tie. KI7 WJP for a radio check. Nothing. KI7 WJP for a radio check. Radio check, KI7 WJP. Anybody? Uh, KI7 WJP. Wow, let's try a high power here. KI7 WJP for a radio check. I don't know that it's working. That location just might be awful. And it doesn't look like much from here, but that last segment of mountains is uh, the Wasatch uh, back, the Wasatch front, and it's uh, it's a big set of mountains, but isolated and small, uh, relatively speaking. So anyway, where I am is in the Uintas, and those bigger mountains that were close close in the view are uh, pretty substantial. Uh, there's not a lot of snow up there. But I have activated one of the summits, Bald Mountain. Um, that was kind of a fun morning. Talked to a few people that day. And Haystack, which is another ridge line out there. So um, I just tried the GMRS radio. I'm going to give it a minute. But uh, I did hear some squelch come back. So um, I just don't think I'm close enough. The morning coffee. Okay, we're gonna try that snowbird repeater again. Getting squelch tails. I'm back to the uh, the 701 antenna, uh, the uh, UV82 from Meerkit. KI7WJP, KI7WJP for a radio check. I think I'm getting in. That was low power. I mean, this is about as line of sight as you can get. Okay, I'm just having some bad luck with that repeater. And I did hear some chatter one day saying they'd been pointed the opposite direction from where I am. So um, I guess that's uh, that may be having something to do with it. Because normally I can get into that repeater from a location like this. So it's interesting. I'm going to try a different one, a slightly different location here. KI7 WJP for a radio check. That was medium power. And I'm pretty sure that one worked. And usually someone's monitoring there. We'll see it comes back. KI7 WJP clear. I guess nobody's on the air today. Maybe. 
hazardous. Use caution. Keep a winter storm survival kit in your vehicle in case of an emergency. A 30% chance of lows near 15. Monday. Now for the National Weather Service forecast for the eastern U into Basin. Monday night, mostly cloudy. Yeah, so weather's coming. That's tomorrow, Thursday. Um, and we're supposed to see a significant amount of snow in my area specifically, which is going to be interesting. Um, Got to get down to the house and fire up the snowblower and see if it even works. I actually started to get six weather stations. Uh, some were faint, some were strong, which is expected, but that's pretty incredible, actually. Um, just obviously your antenna is the powerhouse just remember that snow is dangerous to travel in if you don't have the proper equipment and you're not familiar with it it can get deep really quick and it can pull you in and you can be hy hypothermic in a matter of seconds depending on how you're dressed so more to come on that Stay tuned. Thanks for joining Backcountry Amateur Radio.